Hello everyone, uh, welcome to episode 5 of the Rising Game podcast. Um, I'm Sigbreet and I'm here with my co-host Felix. Hello. Um, so we there was a little problem, we did have some issues, um, but don't worry, we are going to be... Uh, Back on track with posting. Yeah, hopefully, and uh, everything should be fine. Yeah, apologies for not having released an episode in like three weeks. Uh, I know it sounds like the dog ate my homework, but uh, I can explain. Basically... First, uh, we had, essentially, so we recorded the Lux episode, then we had a, that week after that, where we'd usually record, we had GCSE resets, so basically me and Sig weren't in school because people were resetting their GCSEs. Uh, that meant we couldn't record, which meant no episode. Then the next week, we went back, but we missed the Monday because it's still GCSE resets, so couldn't record then. Then the week after that, we came back. Uh, and then the guy who usually lets us into the sort of recording studio and everything, he wasn't there. I think we were, he was, like, teaching a cover lesson or something. And we weren't, like, properly booked in or something. So basically, we couldn't record an episode then. But we're here now, and we're recording an episode. And hopefully, this will be a pretty good one, actually. We've got a, quite a yeah, good one planned. We've so, uh, got, we've... yeah, Sig, do you want to introduce the... Uh... Yeah, so basically, um, obviously, as you guys know, for all the gamers out there. I don't actually know this, but I overheard it from someone and I thought it was pretty cool. Um, but the Game Awards, like the vote, the voting um, is happening or has happened. I'm not too sure about it. Um, and on this episode, we're going to be talking about it and what we think or like would win and, you know, stuff like that. So, uh, yeah. Um, and for the people who don't know what the Game Awards are, um, basically every year a game... Um, so obviously a set of games is released in a year um but once a year um some games are nominated to uh like win these awards um and obviously they're, they're it's voted by the public and uh in the end um there's this massive thing where voice actors get not uh get um awards there's awards for indie games and also triple a games primarily going to be covering today yeah um but yeah um that's basically the gist of it but yeah um there are some pretty it, it's weird because um one of the um games for indie games for the indie games catalog is called dave the diver but apparently they said like themselves that they're not an indie game company they are like a fully fully fledged like company so i don't know what's happening to that um but the games that are um What's it called? Uh, going on is uh, a game called Cocoon. Uh, you've Dave got Dave the Diver, Diver, like we said. Dredge. Oh, I saw it and I was like, oh, I actually kind of want to play this, but then I couldn't be bothered. Sea of Stars. I'm playing that right now. Honestly, it's like it's kind of like Super Mario RPG, where obviously you've got the um, like a uh, reaction time uh, thing. So like, like quick time events. Yeah, like you know, before you hit, you know, you'd like you prep, you press like. A button. Ah, uh, yeah, you yeah, mean yeah, like yeah. Uh, Super Mario Superstar Saga on like the yeah, GBA and, and stuff. Yeah, and yeah. stuff like that. Oh, I love those. And yeah. like Paper Mario, and and then finally um, Viewfinder, um, which I have nothing. I yeah, have... I've never heard of these. So I have, I've never heard of Cocoon. Dave the Diver, I saw on the Steam Summer Sale, and I've also seen it on uh, being advertised for the Steam Autumn Sale, which is going on at the moment, by the way. Um, which is weird since it's like winter now but um then we have uh dredge which i've heard of because i've seen people like streaming it and stuff but i didn't watch any of the streams so i still don't know anything about dredge sea of stars i've never heard of and i would recommend viewfinder it, i've never heard of i have no money at the moment <laughs> uh but so yeah I, I i'm going into this like pretty much blind on what sort of these games are because yeah. I really have no clue on half of them so honestly personally I would say I would vote for Sea of Stars I really like it um, but I, the thing is I haven't played Dredge so I'm not too sure about it but Sea of Stars is definitely a um, the game I'm going to vote for but like it's like that. I feel like they should have put like more games in but then again I don't know what other heavy hitting really like indie f- titles have been f- around I mean I know it's a bit late but <laughs> And actually, I don't. I presume it's indie, um, but surely you could put Risk of Rain's Returns in there. But they're not indie anymore, are they? Are they not? 
I don't know. I thought actually no, weren't they? Yeah, they were like bought by a company or something. Mm. Wait, what? Oh, I thought no. actually no, I thought he sold it to a company or something. Oh. I, don't, I, don't, I haven't noticed though because there hasn't really been a decrease in quality. In fact, I'd say there's an increase in quality. Um, and I the games haven't lost their charm. And I'd say honestly, if you haven't tried Risk of Rain Returns yet, um, my my order of playing would probably be if you haven't played any of the Risk of Rains, play Risk of Rain Two. If you have played Risk of Rain 2 and you like Risk and you've bought Risk of Rain 1 as well and you enjoy Risk of Rain 1, um, but you've already played Risk of Rain 2, then Risk of Rain Returns is very good because basically Risk of Rain 1 is incredibly janky. There's a lot of very sort of broken things. I think one of the things that I noticed was um, if you go into a menu, if you go into the settings menu, or maybe it's like the collection menu where it shows what items you discovered and stuff. If you to exit out that menu, there's no like back button up in the corner. You have to press escape to get the same menu that you'd get if you were mid game, like an actual game. It'll pull up like the pause menu that you get, and then you can click uh, exit to main menu, which is weird That's because it's just thing. like it's like I'm exiting from a sub menu on the main menu, and I have to like press escape and then exit back. And it asks you like the it does the same thing it does if you're in game where it goes like oh are you sure you want to exit? And I'm like yeah I'm just looking at the item collections like I'm 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 doing the settings page yeah I want to exit but no it's just funny. Um, but Risk of Rain Returns pretty much just gets all that goodness from Risk of Rain One like all the 2D goodness and just refines it s- refines it and yeah just removes the jank and it takes a lot of these sort of new I think it takes some of the new sort of maps and enemies and stuff from uh, 2 and uh, items as well and moves them back into 1 and it's kind of it's very good oh sorry <laughs> I don't know what happened there. yeah it's a very good yeah it's a very good game um, definitely I'd recommend it but if you're looking to buy one of the two or Risk of Rain 2 or Risk of Rain Returns I'd recommend 2 more yeah, no, because I saw. I remember seeing so many clips of just Risk of Rain Two and like how much, me- like how many mods as well. I haven't played any mods, and it's already that good. Yeah, that's pretty good. I've never done modded before. I've never done modded Risk of Rain or Risk of Rain Two. I did want to, but it's a bit like more complicated. I think it's more Linux. I don't know. I think I think you can get it working. I just never really looked into doing it because I had no idea it. what mods were available. Really, that's fair. But yeah, so those are the indie games, and that's what our opinions are. But um, what do you think? Uh, what like indie games would you like to have seen, or what games are you gonna like? What games are you gonna are you gonna vote for? Yeah, have you got any good suggestions for indie games? Because I absolutely love indies. Um, please let us like, know. Like, please let us know, because um, I do like indies a lot. And yeah. Um, but yeah, um, so those are the indie games. Um, I'm not gonna go through, n- not right now at least. I do want to skip to like the big one, but the 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 main okay, yeah, we'll attraction, game of, the year. game of the year. Okay, yeah, we'll do that, so and then we'll go. We should go, we go a little bit more in detail about the indie games and like looking at looking at. I like, think we should go through all because there's different categories. There's like oh, should, there's, should we just go through all the, the, the yeah the different categories because there, there's idea. also like yeah, voice we'll acting. I think there's also voice acting and other stuff. Ooh, but I'm not sure. But yeah, yeah so interesting. so the so the six. Nominees for the Game Awards is this Alan is like Wake Two, award. yeah, for the tr- big triple A titles. Um, these big triple A titles, sorry, uh, but yeah. So we've got Alan Wake Two. Okay, honestly, I haven't played it. I haven't played Alan Wake, Alan Wake One. But apparently, Alan Wake Two is kind of like Control, or or so of, or so I've heard. Um, so I'm not really sure. Baldur's Gate Three. Oh my God, that oh, that literally like blew up everywhere. I feel like Baldur's Gate is going to win. That's my Yeah, prediction. Baldur's Gate 3 is definitely going to win. Sp- like, Sp- um, Spider-Man 2, pretty good. I haven't played it. I've seen people play it. And I know one, and you know Riley. He's also played it, and he's finished it. Um, mm. But the thing is, like, I don't think that's going to have that much of an impact because apparently the story isn't very long. So that, so you like barely get any... like You get play time, but I think it was like only seven hours for the main story, I think mm. it was. Which is kind of which is kind of sad, like compared to like Baldur's Gate three and other stuff. Um, but honestly, spite like like it would be great, it would be cool to see it win. But I don't know, like for these other compared to these other titles, I'm not sure. I can already see lower in the list. There's Super Mario Wonder, which I don't. I don't, yeah. I don't think Super Mario Wonder is gonna win. It's not gonna win. If it was for like a Nintendo Game Award, it would definitely win. No, like, it wouldn't. You, no, what? Well, it definitely wouldn't. Um, Tears of the Kingdom would 100% win. Oh well, yeah, it's just that Nintendo. is true. Yeah, but the thing is, it's like I really like what they like the the, the fact that they've they've changed it. So, like they've added like tiny little animations. Like when we played when we went to EGX, 
and we like I don't uh, did you play the Mario Bros. Yeah. Wonder, yes. Yeah, it, honestly, so many tiny little animations. You like Mario going through the through the like what's it called through the pipe? Like he just he like his hat flies off, so he goes to turn around and pick it up, and he go through, and he like it's, it's, it's like tiny little stuff like that. Yeah, it's and, very. There's a lot of attention to detail. Yeah, I, it's it's so beautiful. But that's so that's. I remember when, actually, it, when the trailer dropped, everyone was like. Or a lot of people were quite annoyed about the art style changes. They were like, "Yo, you know, like, yeah. what's happened to the art style?" I like it. It's, yeah, I like it a lot. It's, I think it looks. I can't quite describe it. It looks almost like claymationy. Yeah, um, yeah, the way yeah. it is. But on, I like it. I like what they've done because it's a lot more vibrant. Um, but I just find it quite yeah. funny how Mario Bros. Wonder managed to get in and not Sonic Superstars. But then again, Sonic Superstars is kind of like dry. I don't know, like because Sonic Superstars. Yeah, that's the newest one. I'm not like. But that's not the only Nintendo game that's on the list. Actually, no, it's, not. it's Legend of Zelda: Tears of the Kingdom is another one. So see, I think I honestly think right. There are two that I think have a shot at winning, and I think it's Baldur's Gate or Tears of the Kingdom. And I feel Baldur's Gate might just scrape the victory. I feel like because a lot of people, because think just how many has game hasn't. Breath of the Wild won multiple Game of the Year awards. I have no idea. No, I feel like it's won multiple Game of the Year awards. Sadly, though. As much as as much as, I'm I'm guessing you love Tears of the Kingdom, and I, I do. Haven't, I haven't. I, I haven't um, played it. Yeah, me neither. But it looks it's so good. Apparently, a lot, a lot of people have been saying that Tears of the Kingdom won't be able to catch up with Alan Wake Two. Really? Yeah. No. It's apparently it's re- it's really good. Like it's so much better than its predecessor. What is so, Alan? I've never even heard of. So Alan Wake, basically, I, I'm something totally in, I think. Alan Wake fan. I I'm I don't remember fully, but I swear Alan Wake One was to do with some guy who has like, he's basically schizo. I think I think I'm sorry I'm sorry if I got it wrong, but um yeah. Um, but then like Alan Wake Two is kind of a mix of horror, the horror genre, and like the, uh, like a kind of a game called Control, um, which is pretty good. But um, yeah, no, I don't. So I'm not fully sure. But it, Alan Wake Two is definitely a game I would like to play. Um, but the, and the final, the final award, uh, well, the final nominee is Resident Evil Four Remake, which I think shouldn't be on the list. If I have to be honest, it's a remake, which is number one. And as much as I loved all the stuff that was done with it and how like cool it looks and stuff, I just don't think it should like be on the list like it doesn't i think remakes um actually well how so was the original resident evil 4 like what was it made for the main well it's obviously horror but the no like what what console was it for originally i think it was for the ps3 oh ps3 only ps3 i think it was ps3 PS3. so i was gonna say i don't think remakes really deserve a place on the game of the year awards list unless they're like a proper um, I'm just like really hot take. Uh, unless they're like a proper remake, like a real remake. And what I mean by that is if you look at um, Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening, that was literally a 2D pixel art game for the Game Boy. And when they ported it over to the Switch, they completely reimagined it. They did, like, they literally made it like 2.5D. They made, changed the art style. They redid it all in sort of 3D. They did like modern sort of shaders and everything. They com- basically, they completely redid the game. Yeah like from scratch and it was like completely redone and i understand that they probably did the same thing with resident evil 4 but the fact is if you just got if the only upgrade is really like what what are the updates like what are the upgrades for it because if the only upgrade is oh now we've got like more realistic graphics than what you'd have on the ps3 then i don't think that's like what other upgrades are there um i think the, the one major thing is that they added the parry ability <laughs> so you can parry stuff um is that it? From what I know of, I think so, yeah. I mean, I, I'm sure if you, like, played the game, probably, like, completely changed the balance or something, but... Um... The GameCube? Oh, okay. Alright, that might change some things. Wait. <laughs> no? What? I swear... Bro, I am... The Nintendo GameCube. Oh, you can also play on the Xbox. So if you can play it on the Xbox a, 360, Xbox 360, GameCube, and what about the PS3? They made the for Capital uh, so, Wait, okay, so they had Resident Evil 4, then they made Resident Evil 4 HD for the GameCube. Ah. No, for the PS3, no, for the PS3. For the PS3 yeah. Sorry. Uh, so want, so what? So it's like a so it's like a remake of a remake. 
Man, that, I don't know, that's, bro. That I don't know. Even, if it's a remake of a remake, then surely that's just like. Well, it's just opened. Six struggling with Safari. Oh, no, no, because I. It's a weird browser. I hate. But yeah, no. So wait, so are you telling me that this is a remake of a game that has already been remade once before? Because if so, then that's just silly. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, bro. Yeah, I get that the Resident Evil Like, even Exoprimal. I get that it's oh beloved, gosh, and I get right. that it's probably a really amazing game, and it would deserve a Game of the Year award if it was made new, but the fact is, you know, if you can just remake a game just by adding minor graphical changes to it, or, like, I don't know, a new feature or something, that's like, imagine someone does an update for a game... And then they're like, oh yeah, we added a new feature in this update. And they're like, oh my god, Game of the Year award. No, I think a Game of the Year award has to be a new game that came out that year. And it has to win, like, it has to be out of that year, right? Sig is, so what, which games is this? Is this uh, fighting games? Fighting games. Right, Sig's gone to How is Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl 2 a nominee? <laughs> Bro, it's just going to go back to the classic Mortal Kombat 1 versus Street Fighter 6. Well, of course oh. it is. It's, all, it's always going to be Mortal Kombat versus Street Fighter. Honestly, God of Rock. Oh my God. I really want this game. It's a rhythm fighting game. That sounds awesome. It's, it's. Dope! I really want it. I've never heard of this game. Pocket Bravery. Look at it. See what it is. Oh, no, no. I forgot. They're, they're really... I wish, um... Mm. Uh, on the Game Awards site, I wish that when you clicked the thing, it would give you, like, a little rundown of the game. Like, just, yeah, like, just, you know, like, some pictures like the, well. Like, the, um, sort of, like... So, you know, where you have, like, an elevator pitch, where it's like, a, sell me a pencil in the elevator or something. Like, real quick. It's like, sell me this game. Like, explain to me why, why it deserves to win. Like, if they just did that for each... That'd be pretty good. Each yeah. game would be really good. This is for the art direction. So we've got for the, so for the art director, we've got Alan Wake. So for the best art di- uh, best art direction, Let's we've have got out. Alan Wake Two, Hi-Fi Rush, Lies of P, Super Mario Bros. Wonder, and Legend of Zelda: Tears of the Kingdom. Hi-Fi Rush, I think, should probably. I I I, I personally I would love Hi-Fi Rush to win, because I mm. love the art. Have you have you seen the the gameplay for Show me. Wait, it's so up. good it's so good it's like de- imagine take devil may cry make it a rhythm game it's oh so gosh, good high five rush i'm looking it up you can play it on pc i need me that game it's an it's like uh, pardon me an xbox exclusive that you can play on pc uh, i think it is nice. it's like kind of comic style That's yeah cool. it is so it's so freaking cool man but like Alan Wake 2 as well, like I, it's, Alan Wake 2 is popping off on like a lot of stuff. I think it will definitely win at least one of them. Yeah. Uh, Just Alan from the fact there's so many categories. Two. Sorry, I, I wasn't talking to the mic there. I don't know how hearable that was. Yeah, no, because it looks. Um. That's how Alan. W- yeah, no, Alan Wake wasn't very memorable. Apparently. Alan Wake 2. I'm just looking at it. I don't want to be like the, a downer, but it doesn't. I that's not that's not Alan Wake two, bro. That's Alan. You're looking at Alan Wake. I looked up Alan Wake two. That's not Alan Wake two. I googled Alan Wake two. You know you, you no you duck duck go did. Okay, fine. Duck duck go did. No, because. What's uh, not that's how Alan Wake two is. Alan, that's how the old art style used to look like. Or the old thing. That's no. That's just the title. That's right. not. Find 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 screenshots of Alan Wake. 2. Yeah, that's on. Look, that I have. Look, well, here's a gameplay for it. Oh yeah, show me the game the gameplay trail. Yeah, it just looks like generic 3D. Yeah, it is. Well then, why is it winning an art award? It's actually. Just turn the sound off. Just turn the sound off. No, I want to hear it a little bit. It's like an action horror. I don't see why it deserves an art award. I'm sorry. <laughs> like it, I get that it's um, just my personal taste. I I prefer games that have like a unique art style. So Hi-Fi Rush definitely mm. uh, could win because that. Yeah, but looks then again, like a you got book. you got to remember that when it says. I think Dredge should have been um in that category. 
You know, Dredge looks pretty good. Dredge is the, really the, stylized. But, but you got to remember, right, that um, art directory doesn't just mean the way it looks and how it's done. It's also how, like, what's being processed. Like, you know, like, the, what's the whole idea with, like, what the, what story does this art tell, you could say. Really? That's, yeah. Do you know, have you never, that's why mm. modern, that's why... For some but if god got, awful no, but reason, they have, a, they have a story. They have an entire story category for best story. Yeah. Well, surely that should be in there then. They, sh hang on. No, no. It's just also for, wait. That's actually best story. Best game. Best direct. narrative. Look, they have best art. Yeah. If Alan Wake Two is on this, it's gonna be. <laughs> yeah. I right. I think it could win on there possibly. Huh? Okay. Marvel Spider Man. What? what? Okay. Mm, I wouldn't say Marvel Spider Man Two. Maybe. No. Actually. Cyberpunk 2077, Phantom Liberty. What a comeback, though, for Cyberpunk. Yeah. But yeah, for um for the best narrative, you've got Alan Wake 2, Baldur's Gate 3, Cyberpunk 2077, Phantom Liberty, Final Fantasy 16, Marvel's Spider-Man 2. I love how we haven't played, like, half of the games, and we're just, like, giving our, like, stupid... I haven't played any of these on. games. We're, like, we're, like, giving our, like, <laughs> stupid, like, completely... Like just uneducated <laughs> opinions on them. Just yeah, we're, <laughs> we're doing this yeah, real yeah. podcast style. You know, you get like those like those like alpha male podcasts or whatever, where people are just talking about things. They really just have no oh, no man. idea. No, they they have no clue about anything they're talking about. That's... But they're still giving their opinions on it anyway. It's just funny. That that's us right now. But instead of like I don't know being really like offensive, we're just being offensive to people who like specific games. And I apologize. But also, it's funny. So. <laughs> um, okay then. Oh, but yeah, no best score and music. Right. Alan Wake Two. I don't know about any of the other ones, but um, Breath of the Wild. Sorry, Tears of the Kingdom. Bro, I can't quite I, I can't quite describe it. Whenever I hear like the main theme, because there's like one bit where it goes do 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 do, like that yes, bit. Yes. When it does that and it opens up and you can just see the entire like the vast like world of Hyrule in front of you, so good. like shivers down my spine. Honestly, that that is insane. Like that it's is great. it's like an orchestral masterpiece. Like Breath of the Wild soundtrack as well is great. It's just how well it. I think it's how well they blend into the background and just weave into the world it feels natural with breath of the wild and tears of the kingdom and how it changes like you get on a horse and the theme that's playing in the background like perfectly fades so, into this like horse. breath of the wild did it and i was like oh. it's so good like it's it's just really good so i, I feel re like i was like replaying it like breath of the wild and i was like oh my god there's so much like tiny little music so details. much detail it's yeah. so good the I'll thing that annoys me with breath of the wild um is that it's just why why on the switch and i know okay i know well, there's gonna annoy people. that's because it's the only console it's because right it's now. the only console no, i understand the problem is the switch is i okay i hope someday in the future so you know how um with uh twilight princess and uh what was it the wind waker they did hd remakes of them for the wii u yeah so the wii u has more graphics processing power i'm pretty sure the wii u has more graphics processing power than the switch actually um so the they did the HD remakes for the Wii U. Um, I hope someday in the future they will do HD remakes of Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom. For, like, better consoles? I'm sorry, but the because, Switch... Because if you look at the game, it's the art is beautiful in it, but the problem is it's just the Switch doesn't have enough processing power yeah. behind it. If you look at the ground texture, you can see that it's low resolution. If you... Like, if you look at the shadows of things, they look sort of low resolution-y, and it's, it's not the game maker's fault it's not it's i mean it is nintendo's fault but it's not the, the people who it's, program the, the it's game not stuff. it's not the department of nintendo that's working on zelda's fault that they they're limited by the console of the hardware department so i hope that just someday in the future nintendo make a better console that just has more processing power behind it than the switch because i mean the switch the switch when you dock it it can only go up to 1080p and i mean like come on really? it's like even when they release the oled it's like come on 1080p was kind of out of fashion even when it released like why not 4k and it's just because the switch can't handle it the switch just can't handle 4k that's what i was like it's not say. an excuse it's just a stupid excuse yeah because i was gonna say like the the um the fact that like they, they released the oled because i remember you told me this but like they the, their only it's reason the why they hardware. they released the oled just because like steam was releasing the steam deck 
no, they kind of. I think it basically the way it kind of went is Steam Valve fired warning shots pretty much by um they patented the Steam Deck. They're like, hey, here's this thing. I remember it was called the Steam Pal. Is what it was originally, which I thought was a stupid <laughs> name, but I thought it was kind of funny because it's like Game Boy. But they um patented these things, and everyone's like, ooh, Nintendo, better watch out, you know, Steam's coming to get you. But no, basically, then Nintendo came and they went, oh, uh, all right, fine, we're gonna release something new, and everyone's like, ooh, Switch Pro, Switch Pro, Switch Pro, and it's like, nah, -uh, no Switch Pro, just no a better Switch screen. Two. Just a, just the Switch OLED, and I was like, oh, does it have like more processing power? Can it do 4K or something? And they're like, nah, just a better screen. We're like, oh, so the, like the screen on the console's 1080p, right? Nope, <laughs> no, nope. still 720p. And I'm just like, come on, it's it's 2023. You're releasing consoles in 2023 that don't have 1080p. No, no, the only have 1080p support. They can't go to 4K. The screen on the device is 720p. I mean, come on, my phone which costs less than a Switch, has a better screen than my Switch. Like, that's ridiculous. Yeah, Jesus. Like, it's not difficult, and they should really be... Honestly, they should up their game. And I, I understand. I'm, I mean, the thing like, is, I respect the grind from Nintendo as well, because I can understand why they don't upgrade it, because, you know, it's almost like the if it ain't broke, don't fix it mentality, you know? Yeah. If they're still selling Switches, and they're not upgrading the screen, then why bother to pay for a better screen? Why bother to pay for, like... Uh, you know, better. Well, basically, why bother to upgrade the hardware on it if it's still selling? Makes sense. Uh, yeah, that makes no sense. How the fact that there's a PS5 Slim, I call it's too. It's the same size. Yeah. No. Or is it? Wait. Or I is don't it? Know. Or is it? Or is it? It's it's dumb. Apparently, it's, it's good though. No, yeah, but what's what's the difference? What's... Oh, here's here's something that might say the difference. Oh, hang on, let me just close this bit. This... Or maybe just go to um PlayStation's website. They'll probably tell PlayStation you. PlayStation Five. No, that's the digital edition compared to the regular edition. What what's the actual difference? Versus uh, PS Five. Oh yeah. Oh, talking about game awards, and then we kind of got sidetracked. No, but it's just, well, we, well yeah. we're we're talking about well, we're talking about Breath of the Wild, and it kind of got like. Um, but yeah, no. In the anyway, to clear up my point, what I was saying is, in the future, I do just hope that um, Nintendo, when they release a console which supports 4K, I'd love to see Breath of the Wild in 4K. I think that'd be amazing. That'd be really cool. And with and more like... processing power, just just to have further render distance and everything, and just it'd be amazing. Because Breath of the Wild's art style is truly beautiful. I love it so much. And it just need it doesn't like the Switch doesn't deserve Breath of the Wild. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's Breath of the Wild is. Well, too I mean, good it was for, on the Wii U. It's too good. Yeah, well, the Wii U version, I think. Oh, I don't know. I I think it's got slightly better rendering than the Switch you, no, version. No, but you can mod it. I know. It's yeah, like, no. Mm. I still find it so dumb that there's they like they've already released a PS5 Slim for no reason. This isn't PS4 versus PS4 Pro games will run exactly the same across the spectrum of PS5 consoles. So basically, they're gonna have the exact same power. Um, uh, if we're talking about things like that, one thing that annoys me, and it's not, I understand why they did it, and I understand, I, I don't blame don't. anyone for doing it. No, no, I'm talking about the Steam Deck OLED. Oh. It annoys me because I own a base model Steam Deck. Um, I got it last year, and it didn't. It, it annoyed me a little bit when they released it, but I un, I am also grateful that they're still doing stuff. And apparently, Steam released an update for the base Steam Deck that actually gets you better graphics on it. Because that's the thing I really like about Valve. They're not trying to. It doesn't feel like they're trying to. It really feels like they want to prove to you that you have that you want to upgrade your stuff um, by simply making the new stuff better, rather than trying to not upgrade the old stuff. Because Valve could have easily gone, "Oh, we'll make the new uh, Steam Deck OLED uh, have a better display and everything, and the Steam Deck won't get an upgrade." When actually, you can fix the graphics through software, which they have because they released that patch that fixed a lot of the graphical issues on the Steam Deck That's with great. software. They're still sort of... It's it's the way they still support everything. And I think it's simply because they make most of their money through the store and they're just trying to sell you Steam Deck so that way you'll get into the Steam Marketplace. But for people like me who are already well-versed in the sort of ecosystem of that, it it's very much... um, <laughs> It's quite nice because it's like... A, it feels like the company actually cares for once versus like... 
I know, again, Nintendo with, like, the not releasing a new thing, yeah. just in case. Because Steam Deck were like, actually, we can make a better version of the Steam Deck right now, and we can release it for the same price. Um, so they did that. Versus Nintendo would just go, oh, well, we'll just keep seeing how long we can sell the Switches to until people stop yeah. buying them, and then we'll have to release Get them. your money up, not your funny up, Spider-Man. Yeah. That's, that's basically what I want to say. Yeah, back to the Game Awards, because we kind of got a little bit sidetracked. Very Best sidetracked. audio design, Alan Wake 2, again, Dead Space remake. Okay, you know, fair enough. Hi-Fi Rush, Marvel Spider-Man 2, Resident Evil 4. You know what? I feel like oh, Alan Wake. Bonk. Um... Alan Wake 2 is, like, hitting that off. It's I feel like, like Alan Wake, like I said, I feel like it'll win one, if not multiple game awards. Yeah, um, because that's what happened with, uh, like, I remember how um, Elden Ring won oh so many game God, awards, Elden but got Ring. shut down by Ragnarok, on God of War Ragnarok. They won, they, uh, God of War Ragnarok won in the end. Oh, I remember, um, wasn't the Elden Ring game awards thing where the guy interrupted it? You mean like that random kid, person that yeah kid. yeah yeah it was like yeah um I would like to say something about I don't like I don't remember it was like <laughs> shout out <laughs> shout out to my I don't know it was like shout out to my something um I don't know he's, he's he gave like a shout out to something just I remember he was standing at the back and he kind of came forward to give a speech and everyone and like I remember like the, he was standing with the team who made Elden Ring and the team made Elden Ring just looked by him like who the hell is this kid like what how how did he get there who are you if you haven't oh no. Oh no! What? Oh no! I saw a documentary on this game. What game? What? Goodbye, Volcano High. I saw. I saw a documentary on this. So um, this is, by the way, is Games for Impact. Um, I think it's meant to be like a story games, right? That's like. Yes. I'm surprised Alan Wake isn't on here. <laughs> yeah. What? Hang on. Okay. Well, Goodbye, Volcano Chance of, High. Chance of Senna. I have seen the art. I've of seen this it. Game. It looks so it beautiful. It looks beautiful. Um. But obviously, it compared, the, it should be in the yeah. arts awards category versus instead of like I know I'm sure there's a couple games in there that I didn't agree with. <laughs> and I think that <laughs> I can't even remember. Chance of Senna should have been in there instead because that has a very very beautiful art style. It's really, it really looks really. It's cool. not even cell shading. It's like outlined, but yeah. definitely 3D. It's like a, sp- a space for the unbound. I saw a I little bit of seen that. It. I saw like a little trailer of it. I saw it and I was like, mm, yeah, but goodbye volcano high. What do you mean a documentary? So basically, uh, I think it was pretty much like a quick rundown of the story. Yeah, I saw the story. It was like apparently. Uh, I, well, you can. I'm not going to spoil. Well, I, I don't. Basic, really, I no, don't no, 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 no. I don't know about the story of the official. Yeah. One. This is no, no. I'm talking about this. So basically, what happened is I think it was um, the original game, uh, v- Goodbye Volcano High, was announced or something, and for some reason the main character I can't even remember what her name is basically or maybe it's like their name i don't know it was, it was a very it's like a very sort of progressive type game i can't remember i think the the main story is it's like a high school thing yeah but it's like visual novel it's, gonna, the, it's like a visual novel high school thing the world's gonna end basically because obviously because they're dinosaurs the, yeah or something, and it's meant to like yeah blah, 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 but it's like i don't know it's i think it like they, they i don't know they made it like oh my legs they made the story and i think people didn't like it as much because it wasn't what they thought it was going to be and they didn't like how it ended out. But uh, what happened was during the development of it, um, 4chan decided that they really like the main character and I don't know why. They just, you know how 4chan is, they sometimes gravitate to just random things. No, 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 it's not even a no. It's actually kind of a, like, weirdly cool story. Uh, 4chan took this main character and started, like, making loads of memes of them, making loads of, like, Wojaks and everything. And then they ended up basically going, oh, yeah, we really like this game. And then a bunch of developers on 4chan were like, yo, we're because this game is taking too long to release, we're going to make our own version of it. And they called it, like, they called it Snoot Game or something. Um, I can't talk for the contents of Snoot Game. I haven't played it. I haven't, I can't endorse it. I can't, I, I don't know what it is. So, you know, Google it and everything at your own risk. It's 4chan, so, you know, you've got to be all be careful. But basically, they made this game, Snoot Game. And, uh, oh my god. It, like, yeah, no. When the game released of official Goodbye Volcano High released, everyone was like, yo, Snoot Game did it better, though. <laughs> Everyone's like, Snoot Game is better. Oh yeah, Fang, that's the name of the main character. So yeah, 4chan really took a liking to Fan, Fang, the main character, and 
made their own version and the official developers of it were really <laughs> really bloody annoyed at the fact that 4chan had just made their own version <laughs> of this game <laughs> it's, funny, it's so funny how my boys um Oh, but no, it? yeah, no, they, no. They made it free as well. So if you want to go and play it, you can. Um, <laughs> I don't. Again, like I said, I can't speak for its contents. I don't know how if it is safe. I don't know if it's <laughs> not safe. I, it's made by 4chan, but everyone says it's better than the official game, and it's free. So if you want to go check it Why out, why you need to play list. Snoot Games updates? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> but no. So uh, yeah, 4chan did it better. Which I find hilarious. The fact that I just love it. I, I honestly, right? 4chan is such a double edged sword. Because I find, like, half the time they're so degenerate and it's just miserable. You're going to get sh you're gonna get stalked and you're going to die. I know. Um, I, what have you done? I know. I've, I've gonna... killed myself now. I've, I've like, I've, I've put a death <sighs> warrant on my done? head. I've put a target on my head. Um, but half the time they're so degenerate and everything. I don't know. Maybe they'll take it in their pride or something. Basically. They're so just crazy on there. And half the time, it's, like, not good. But the other half the time, just because of how s just stupidly deranged things get on there, amazing things can come out of it. Like, yeah. really amazing things. Like, just, just imagine that. Like, getting so weirdly attached to a game's character that you then decided that the game is taking too long to release, <laughs> so screw it, we'll make it ourselves. And you and oh. a bunch of other people came together and you made that thing, and you released it, and everyone's like, wait, this is actually better than the original. Just, that's, that's just beautiful. Now that, now that, that right there, my friends, is how you get a game nominated for Game of the Year, literally. I feel like 4chan might, like, if 4chan tried- I feel like they're gonna vote, I feel like they're gonna sway the vote, and I feel like Volcano High is gonna win in that category just simply because 4chan <laughs> are gonna be like, we do a little trolling, and we, they'll just do Yeah, that. we like trolling, but yeah, no, oh my god, I, I wanna again, see I do, how I do not, game goes. Again, I do not- <laughs> I do not condone any actions of 4chan and that sort of thing, I'm simply reporting on what happened. <laughs> and there's a much there's actually a really good video on YouTube out there if you want to watch like it's like a full 30 minute thing if you want to get into more detail about how it happened and everything um really suggest it I can't remember who made it um I'll look up <sighs> are we tired I'll find it volcano high documentary I'd love to I'd need to watch this it. when I get home I can't find it uh, it'll be on YouTube somewhere. I'm sure you can find it. But basically, uh, do you want to go back to some of the other Game of the Year awards? We've got like a couple minutes left. Yeah, but then again, um, I don't know how to do some of the other stuff. We'll see. We'll see. We'll just do another category. What? what, what another one. Game awards. The game awards for the 2023. 2020 10. 22 10. Sick, stop doing that. Add, no, ten, ten, oh, ten days till the, oh, ooh, 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 kill him. Wait, ooh, so, wait, will, will ooh, it already? Kill him, ooh, kill him. Well, Fortnite! The wait. Game Awards vote in Fortnite. Wait, so will it already be, um, go up to the, Oh, uh, nominees, here, here they are. So will it already, uh, have passed at the time? So, yeah. will, when, so what? In what? ten days. In ten days. Yeah. So. So by the time this is by the released, time it's come out three days. Three days. Yeah. Oh, you use your big brain. So I'll be like. I hate these Macs. I hate them. Listen to me. If any of you go ever go to CRC and want to do a podcast, please do. It would be great. We have more people doing podcasts. You who, um, uh, be prepared for the Max. I'm really sorry, CRC, but. You need to step up your game. I don't know. I mean, like, like yeah. I, no, hate him. I think I, I don't. I hate him so much. Every single time I see him, I have PTSD. You don't it's have. So yeah, but they don't bad. have. You don't have a massive budget, so they've got to get what they've got to get. But I think. That's why. I don't know how many Macs they have. That's why the food is expensive. <laughs> it's cheap compared to my old school. What? What? Mold school, right? If you wanted to buy a slice of pizza, it would cost like one singular slice, and this was like a small slice. It would cost you, and it wasn't like a big pizza. It was like a small pizza, like slice like that big, uh, one twenty-five. 
Oh, for slice. us, it was just one quid. For a slice. What? For, nah, 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 nah. for us, it's just a quid. Well, yeah, but now you can go to CRC and get half a pizza for like three quid. Me too. Oh, two for three quid. What? What? N no. Half a pizza for two quid, full pizza for four. Oh, okay. Oh my um, god, you goober. Unless you get the chicken one. I don't know. Then it's I'm, four I'm pound. Not... Listen, I'm not, I'm not... Okay, mister, I don't eat CRC food. What no, are you, I do, no, I a do, person who doesn't I, eat CRC food? I do eat food? CRC food, no, I just don't, don't take note of the prices, Sig. What are you, too rich? Too rich to... I'm not too, too rich I'm to... I'm not too rich, I, I just... reload the page? It's just not working! I'm it's not working! You right, get... let's go view all categories. Oh okay, so... No, 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 no. We've done best oh, audio God design. Uh, best for impact, best com best community support. We'll have a let's look Let's do that, one. yeah. I'd like to see this. It is Alan Wake 2. Baldur's Gate 3. Okay. Destiny 2?! What?! Don't know about that. Uh... No Man's Sky. Okay, actually, No Man's Sky, though. They got a lot, like... They really... I they, think ha they had a glow-up. No Man's Sky is interesting as a game because it started off with such a negative reception. <laughs> Just because of how much they overhyped it and it underperformed. Underperformed. Which the thing is, is if they hadn't overhyped it, the performance that they had was impressive. It just wasn't what they promised. Yeah. And that's the problem. If you don't, if you don't overpromise, you're not gonna disappoint people. Yeah. Um, what are the other ones? So you've got Baldur's Gate three, of course. Cyberpunk, Cyberpunk twenty seventy seven, which is interesting. I think I haven't played it. Me neither. I really want to. But I think, uh, I mean, presumably if it's got best community support, I presume they must have probably fixed a whole load of the bugginess. Well, yeah, no. The, when, so you know when Edge Runners, the anime, got released, they did a massive update, fixing literally everything, and it was, and it was perfect. Then now, for this free update, it, like literally kind of DLC free update, um, for Liberty City, they added a brand new story, all for free, and um, they complete completely redid the AI, uh, AI UI, fixed like even more bugs and issues, wow. and they made like they basically made a full comeback. It's great. That's great. No, that's so, really great to hear. Um, yeah, no, I think so. If, if that, if, I can't speak because I haven't actually <laughs> looked it up. But um, if everything six said there's like accurate, then yeah, I feel like they're definitely gonna win. Because I don't think you can top, like, that much of a comeback. Yeah. Pretty much. Like, Baldur's Gate, I'm sorry, like, Baldur's Gate, it's the fact that Baldur's Great. Baldur's Great. Baldur's I mean, Baldur's Gate is definitely going to win. Yeah, no, it's going to win. Game, it's going to win. It's definitely going to win a game award because of how much, if not it, no, it's literally, cr award. no, it got so bad to the point where uh, so many developers were like, um, Baldur's Gate 3 ruined RPGs because now every other company has to follow that kind of like style and I'm like no no you no, don't you don't you just do your own thing do something unique and yeah all Baldur's Gate 3 did is prove that if you are going to do a Baldur's Gate style RPG you if need you're gonna... to make sure that you're doing it just as no, it's like no not Baldur's Gate if you're gonna if you're gonna make D&D &D into a video game just commit and also time just patience and time and it will eventually yeah. work do it just pretty much yeah you you need to put in a lot of effort because D&D is such just a Massive game in the first place. Yeah, D and D's massive, but yeah, no, I feel like Baldur's Gate. I think is that's my that's my prediction for what's gonna win. Mm. Um, I don't know what have we got best. I think we need to wrap up because I mean, yeah, I there's a lot of categories. Oh wait, be wait very quickly. Best debut indie game. Oh actually, yeah, yeah, I'd like to see this. Oh, hell oh Peter, yeah. Tower. Peter Tower. Okay, yes, yeah, so we've got Viewfinder, I haven't known about that. Vemba, I don't know, it looks interesting. It's, it's Vemba's literally just about um how you're going through memories and you unlock like stuff for a cookbook and you then cook meals. That's like the basic outline. But Pizza Tower, I really want to play that game. I won't be, wait, it's free. All the demo's free, you can play On it. what? On PC. On what? On like Itch or something, I'm pretty oh. sure. Oh! I'll send you a link. I'm about to have a good time when I get P home. Okay, Pizza Tower. Bro, so good. Please, I've seen so I many. I want Peter Tower to win a, ga win a game award because I just think that <laughs> would be such a it's meme to so win. Meme. It's such a good game. If you haven't seen Peter Tower, look it up. It's it's brilliant. Um, I I'm absolutely miserable at it, but yeah, it's pretty good. Anyway, we need to we need to wrap up. Yeah, like you said up. earlier. Alrighty, guys, thank you for um uh, listening to our very <laughs> the f oh, fudge. Oh god, the damn it. fifth episode. Yeah.
Oh, Rising Games <laughs> podcast. Oh, you let it think. slip. Oh, you no. let it slip. <laughs> oh god, <laughs> the audio has peaked so much there. Oh um, no, well you you'll be fine. Um, because you. Oh yeah, we've got um just a quick heads up. Um, we have. We do have an editor. Uh, we have a new editor that is helping us. We have so, two editors now. So yeah, we've got Felix and um, uh, Andre. Uh, we're not gonna say his surname for obvious reasons. Yeah, obviously. Um, but yeah, them two are doing all the heavy li- heavy lifting, and I'm kind of carrying the voice of the podcast. I guess yeah, you could say we. Yeah, you, Sig's pretty much like gonna be. I presume your job should be like planning out episodes and stuff. I'm the talk. He's the tech. Thumb, thumbs yeah. up. Thumbs up, everybody. And, uh, yeah, uh, good night, Bobby. Yeah, good night. Love you, bro. Um, also, like and subscribe. Yeah, like, remember to, remember to subscribe. <laughs> I don't, to no, I'm not, I'm not ever gonna say that ever again. No, I think I'm not gonna say that. I you, don't like saying like and subscribe because it's want, such a bait move. It is a bait move, but if you want, if you do want, um, to make sure you're updated when the next podcast episode releases, um, I think on Spotify you can follow us. Oh, yeah, I you can do it on Spotify on, as well. And I think you can subscribe and obviously hit the bell on YouTube. Obviously, don't do it if you actually don't want to like get updates. But if you do, then that's fine. That's the thing you can do. Yeah, yeah. it would really help. We wanna. Well, my personal goal is to get this podcast up to the top and actually, you know, get people listening uh, to it. And I think it would be really cool. So, to all of you that are subscribed currently and do listen to the podcast, thank thank you you so much. Um, it's been great. But yeah, we're gonna dip. We got a dip because um, go. some computer problems and I need to sort that out. But yeah, thank you guys for listening to episode five of the Rising Games podcast. Um, have a good rest of the day, evening or All night. night. All morning. Uh, or that. We'll s- anyway. <laughs> anyway, see you next time. <laughs> Toodaloo! Toodaloo! <laughs> that was great. All right. Cut the mic. Cut the mic. Oh, <laughs> no! <laughs>